get hyped when I was playing the game. Uh, more, more going down. So it's very, very, very good quality that Fraps records at. So you can basically ver ver um, experiment a lot. And now we're gonna open up our AVI video editor called Virtual Dub. I'm gonna go into the um, folder because this is a edited shortcut, which I'm not gonna get into. Um, virtual Dub. All you have to do is Google that. I might put a link in the description. Just Google Virtual Dub, and you'll get it. Uh, now open the Virtual Dub up, and you've you've got Virtual Dub right here. And this is a free video editing program, um, mostly for rendering. It's not very good for editing. If you want to edit, use something that you actually have to pay for. Because I've I've I'm yet to see I've yet to see a good video editing program that is free. But let's not get into that. Basically, what we have to do here is Fraps is kind of blocking. Fraps FPS thing is kind of blocking the. Uh, there we go. You have to go to File, Open Video File, and we're gonna open the first Mass Effect test, so test one. And um, if you play it in Virtual Dub, it might it might sound a little weird or be uh, be a little weird in Virtual Dub. But uh, I wouldn't worry about that if you render it again, and it it should be fine. Okay, so as you can see here, this video is one minute. Okay, one minute thirty seconds. So now what you want to do if you have multiple clips. So if your if your video is basically yeah, if you if you have multiple clips, which you're gonna gonna have if you record n like if you record like uh, at least three or four minutes, you're gonna have multiple clips. Most likely, if this is a high action packed video, maybe even by two minutes, I don't know. You're gonna have to go File, Append, AVI Segment. And since Frapsis records completely in AVI, um, that's audio video interleave, um, you can basically uh, use the Fraps, because cause Virtual Dub is a only for AVI, unless you get some add ons, which are kind of complicated, in my opinion. Um, so what I did there is I appended the I appended the file and as we go here if we go to one minute thirty seconds. Oh, one second guys. Bam back. You can see there that I that I basically there's no difference. I, I put the two videos together and they're now one vid big video f video in virtual dub. Now I, I wouldn't recommend to render uh, edit in virtual dub, because um, I don't do that much editing actually. I barely do any. Um. Yeah. So now, the important options that you're gonna need to know if you want to simply render a file in Virtual Dub are the filters and the compression. Um. Also here, only the compression. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to uh, video compression, and we're gonna need to install for this. You're gonna need to install a codec, which is a AVI is a container, and codecs are then another sub base of a file format, which is AVI, which is the container. And you don't really have to understand it. All you have to do is you have to download XVID. Type that into Google. Let me put this down here. XVID. Um, that's a codec. If you can't, if a lot of people ask, I'll post it in the description. Uh, but if I'm, I'm. I'm guessing people will be able to find it it's so easy, just Google it. And um Yeah, there we go. Xvid is gonna be our main codec we're gonna be using. It's the most important element for our video rendering. And um here we go, we've got the Xvid configuration. And the most important part of this is I don't think these really I, I wouldn't mess with these too much. I don't know, I, I haven't messed with them too much, so I don't really know. But leave these in single pass unrestricted for now unless you know better. And if this is switched to target quantizer, go to target bitrate. Because then you can use the bitrate calculator. You click on this button here, calc. And it will bring up another window. Uh, this window is probably one of the, this is probably the reason I use XVID. First of all, because XVID is a, uh, definitely doesn't reduce the quality as nearly as much as other codecs do. And because there's this awesome calculator that you can calculate your bit the bit rate for you. I should put this to 60, but that doesn't matter too much. Now I said that your your video can be max of 30 minutes, and it can be 600 megabytes. Yeah. 
So it's basically the same as 300,000 kilobytes, which is 300 megabytes. That's 300,000, right? Yeah. And uh, 15 minutes is just half. But I'm gonna put it on this for your guy for you guys' orientation. Um. Bitrate doesn't really change. So you got 600 megabytes. And you got, uh, yeah, that's good. Audio doesn't really have to change. And subtitles, oh, doesn't matter. They're not, that, they're not that large anyway. So click OK here. And see, it barely changed. Um, you want to put it on this bitrate, because I, I don't want people uploading me a 600 megabyte file if the video is only 1 MB. I know I said your video can be that large, but I don't want a 600 me megabyte file, and I can't make like parameters for that because that's, that'd be too annoying. I just want like I just want people to consider this when they're using their rendering software. I'll I'll, I'll point them in, in the, to this tutorial if they don't if they don't do it correctly. So there we go. We've got this configured. This is this is basically the main compression. It's gonna bring your file size tremendously down, tremendously, and um. I click OK here. OK here. OK here. Get the fuck out of this window. And now we're going to go to um, make sure it's on full processing mode. Uh, go to filters. And we're going to add the resize filter. Which is going to make our video. If you recorded. Now, now if you recorded in 1280 by 720, do not use the resize filter. Skip this step. But for everyone else, record it in a re resolution uh, like this. Uh, I have to touch on this too. Uh, all of these resolutions here are widescreen 16 by 9 resolutions, 16 by 9, and um, it's a certain certain type of certain type of resolution, certain class of resolutions. And all of these resolutions, um, put this down here. All of these resolutions are uh, all of these resolutions are 16 by 9 resolutions. And if you record in any resolution that is that is lower than than one two eight zero by seven two zero, but it's still a sixteen by nine resolution. I'm not sure how you figured that out. There's some way to do it. You, have to, you have, probably have to figure that out for yourself because I don't know. But um, most games have like a configuration. If you if you, if you stick to these, um, if you stick to these, go like this in half size, even this in half size, this in half size. It should, it's also 16 by 9 and um, once you've got like any 16 by 9 resolution that's below 1280 by 720 because you don't want to downsize uh, yeah, so you don't have to downsize because um, you don't want to be doing that that's, that's stupid Cause that, that you're not going to be able to record in all games in 1920 by 1080 because this that's this crazy amount of uh, CPU you need for that in fraps, even even for fraps. Okay, and now we're gonna find the resize filter here. It's a default filter. You don't have to install anything. And now we're gonna go for OK. Do less an options menu here, and you wanna go for the new size. And um, for one two eight zero by seven two zero, that's your new resolution. Um, just to be on the safe side, you should put in here one sixteen by nine. And there we've got our resolution, the one we the one we want as the output. Click on OK, click on OK, and that pretty much does it for the. C no wait, no 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 no, I'm totally wrong. This is a default by on the direct stream copy, but you don't want that. Uh, go to compression for audio, and you've got it on full processing mode. And again, you have to install a codec, just like in the last, last part. Um, and um, you have to install a codec again. This is the lame codec. The lame codec, lame MP3. I put in, or you might get something else, because lame is a, is a totally universal word in the English language. Um, so you can fiddle around with this a little bit. I like to just use this one. You can go higher or lower if you want, but I think this is the this is, seems to be the best for me at least at this point. And uh, 44,100 hertz on 28 kbps CBR. 
stereo, 16 kilobytes per second as the bitrate for audio, because audio is a bitrate as well. Uh, and we're going to go to... Okay, now, now, now we've got basically audio and video configured. And now we're going to go to File, Save as AVI. And we can save this. And uh, Virtual Dev starts processing it. And uh, this basically is irrelevant. I, I like to quit these because I have a feeling they drain CPU. If you're not doing anything on the computer, which I don't recommend you do while you're rendering, uh, you can maybe play a flash game or something. That's probably it. Um, you should go on, or you can maybe type, you can maybe work on it if it's your work computer. You can go on highest. Um, if you're not working on it, if, if you're even, if you're doing anything on the computer, I would leave it on normal. So I'm going to abort this because I don't want to re actually render this. I've already rendered this. Um, so yeah, there you go. There, if you just want to do one video, you can do that. But if you want to queue multiple videos, um, you can do a queue batch operation. If you want to do two two clips, like you want, if you want to make it a two-parter instead of a, consider this, guys. If you want to, if you want to submit to me multiple videos, it can be multiple videos, uh, but they have to be split. They have to be a total of 30 minutes. I don't, I don't want to get like ten, I don't want to get like 10 parts for 30 minutes. That's bullshit. It, like two or three parts, a uh, max, two or three videos max. If it's a total of 30 minutes or lower. Mm. Okay, there we go. If you, if you wanna if you wanna cut it into two parter, you can basically like select this. Uh, it's not that important. You can do a Q batch operation, save as AVI, and then you can delete this, do the rest. That's not that important. Um, you can delete it, and you can Q batch operation, save as a save as AVI, and you open this. You'll see two jobs here, but that's not that important. If you wanna submit a video to my channel, you're gonna have. Uh, you're gonna only have one video, most likely, um, if not max of two or three, uh, that you submit at once. Um, yeah, that that's that's pretty much. Let me think for a second. We've got that pretty much covers the the audio, video, um, and rendering out the videos, because that that's pretty much actually it to my tutorial, guys. I think thanks for watching this. If you have any questions, send me a PM. If uh, the question gets repeated often, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna, some, I'm gonna make a new video tutorial with uh, like the frequently asked questions about rendering, and I'm gonna link it in this video. And um, thanks for watching. Happy editing, and I'll see you guys another time. Hey guys, um, this is a little tutorial on how to render from my video submission system. Uh, or if you want to upload it to your own channel, just in general a rendering tutorial. If you ha if you want to submit to my channel, watch the video linked in the description before you watch this one because it has important information so your video won't get rejected by me. Okay, first of all, I can't go on the general tab because it shows my name, but um, the most important tab and the only tab you really need to give a shit about when you're recording video is mo the movies tab and fraps this is the program I record with I don't have tutorials for other programs I don't know how to use other programs so please don't ask me um, uh, I like to set my FPS to 60 FPS because that gives you the, the most solid frame rate you can also set it to 30 frames per second um, I record in half size uh, I can I have my recording resolution is 1920 times 1080 and half of that would be then I don't I don't quite remember what the what the half of that I'm not sure if it's exactly the half um half of yes yeah, 960 by 960 by 450 um 540 sorry so you have uh this one is what you play at is what I play at at least and this is what that would record because the half size basically splits the resolution into into the half of the resolution, and uh, the end resolution of your video is it should be if you're uploading it to YouTube or submitting it to my channel, it should be one two eight zero by seven two zero, 
Now that's the ideal resolution in my opinion for YouTube. That's the easiest and the cleanest resolution. Um, I wouldn't check any of these unless you want to hide your cursor. That's up to you. But these are not recommended to check unless you're an advanced user. And if you need to watch this video tutorial, I'm guessing you're either an intermediate or a beginner. So I wouldn't use these. Uh, I'm not. I'm not even sure. I I like to use those. And lock frame rate, I'm not sure what the, exactly what that does is for advanced users as well. Um, I, I don't think it really, I don't think, I think 99% of people don't really need this, this setting. Um, so if you record at 30 FPS, the video will be, uh, be smooth, but your gameplay will be not as smooth. You can, you can almost see it in the video, but the, Video will be basically smooth, but if you record at 60 FPS, if you record at a steady 60 FPS, your game will be completely smooth. Um, now, when you have fraps on and you go into a game, open up the game and you see in the top left corner by default, you can go, you can change it here. Um, top left corner by default, you see some r yellow numbers. If you hit the uh, capture hotkey, whatever that is for you. I'm, I still use the default F9. It will start capturing, and if you hit the the numbers become red, and if you stop, you hit F9 again, and the numbers become yellow again. Now that's the very that's basically all there is to it. There's no pause and shit. There's only record, not record. There's only two states that traps can be in. Okay, that covers recording. You record in pretty much any full screen like DirectX or OpenGL application. It doesn't have to be a game, but it's meant for games. Like I, I've managed to record in, I record the Windows Media Player, or or YouTube in full screen, but um, you know that's it's supposed to be for games. Um, if you want to record a Flash game, of course you can just go to the General tab, click Monitor Air or Desktop and then record, uh, hit record, because that's what I'm doing right now to record this tutorial. So, um, I'm gonna go get some sample game footage, and I'll be right back. Okay guys, I'm back, and I have some Mass Effect sample footage from my playthrough of Mass Effect. Um, right here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open these to this video up, um, as you can see, yeah, well, yeah, here you go. Fraps, uh, when some of you record in, uh, even in half size, Fraps creates huge video files. Like, four minutes is already three gigabytes. And, uh, you see one minute here is two gigabytes. Probably was a lot of dialogue in this video here. As you can see here, the file size, this is size, is 3.9 gigabytes. 3.9 gigabytes is the max limit for, um, I think Windows is file system or whatever. I don't know, but Fraps, at least on my computer and on like 99% of computers, as far as I I'm I know and I'm aware of, stops recording at um, 39 and stop and starts recording instantly. So you, you when you're recording in game, you don't notice it, but it creates it basically starts a new file. Um, like I'd say, this file will be first. I'd be recording, and it it would start and stop and create a new file instantly after afterwards, so you wouldn't see the difference. Let me show you the difference here. It might be a little laggy because I'm recording the desktop. I'm just not yet that deficient yet for frack. <sighs> Which way? I think this way. You can see the difference here in a second. Oh, one second, guys. Bam oh. back. As you see, the, as you see there, there's an instant transaction. Even though there that that was it was self-inflicted, uh, I did it myself. But it's if it don't worry about the splitting of the file size. We're gonna fix that. Uh, not the file size, splitting of the file. As you know, if you watched the previous video, you know that my the file for um, submitting to my channel has to be under 600 megabytes. So. Um, it has to be yeah, it has to be under 600 megabytes and as you can see here we're far above that the quality is extremely good it's, th it's basically the same as when I was playing the game see if you put this open this up and put it in full screen um, 
Stand back. It's very close to the quality.